I just built this bunker, and these two people who have never met each other are going to attempt to live down here for the next 100 days. Take your blindfolds off. Hugo, this is Rain. Rain, Hi. this is Hugo. Nice to meet you. This is our first time ever meeting. I don't fucking believe you, dude. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Uh, that's hilarious. That's the funniest way to open up a video. It's been a few days since my last upload, and I mentioned in my previous upload that my video had gotten age-restricted. Aw, oh, dang it! Because of some of the shit that Mr. Beast had said about Daniel Bergoli, and honestly, that really pissed me the fuck off. And I... Just having to deal with that, going into the YouTube editor and getting that edited out, and then the video just getting killed in terms of the algorithm anyways, just... It, it pissed me off so much and I couldn't believe that that ended up happening because it wasn't even me that said it and it was talking about like child sexualization even though there was no child being sexualized it was just a stupid idiotic dark joke that was made by someone else that wasn't even me but fuck it I guess just my video is the one that has to get age restricted and I had to completely re-edit the video recontextualize the video and re-upload it and thankfully the video ended up doing much better after I re-uploaded it and I'm very thankful for that because the fact that it even happened to begin with anyways just absolutely absolutely pissed me the fuck off but a couple of things that have happened since the last video that I didn't put into my new video and etc etc was that dog pack ended up getting a cease and desist which was very surprising considering the fact that just it came out of nowhere he got a couple of text messages from some people and some of the text messages uh, for to dog pack 404 talk about how they're looking up information about dog pack and his family to try to defame him and get, pretty much get rid of any credibility that he had whatsoever when he made the video in the first place and it's kind of a really strange and scary situation but once again Mr. Beast hasn't really said anything beyond the tweet that he made about Ava Chris Tyson when that information was coming out. What ended up happening afterwards after Dogpack had said that he got that cease and desist? For some reason Mr. Beast thought the best idea to do was to go ahead and, and upload a brand new video onto the YouTube channel. And I'm not going to pretend that this doesn't make sense at all because at the, at the end of the day YouTube is still a business for him and this video was probably scheduled way in advance before or any of this Chris Tyson stuff happened. So the video was already like in production and was already done and it was already scheduled to be uploaded before any of the Chris Tyson bullshit happened, but it still makes them look absolutely fucking terrible. And it really doesn't help because of the fact that if you go into the comments and you make any comments about Ava Tyson or some of the other allegations that are made towards Mr. Beast, like some of the people in the videos not actually being random people like he claims they are to be, they're just paid actors that either directly work for him or are related to some people from Mr. Beast's crew or Mr. Beast's uh, employees or the fact that some of his giveaways are fake the comment just pretty much gets completely deleted and this reminds me of an entirely different situation that I made a video about a while ago it's actually one of my more popular videos on my YouTube channel and it's about the Mark Music drama that happened I think almost five years ago now or about five years ago now and I talked about in my video that I made three years ago that Eric or Mark Music was actually deleting comments that had anything to do about the previous friend group that he had been making videos beforehand before he had met his I think now wife he had started deleting comments and started deleting uh donation messages that were made to him on live stream wanting to ask questions about what happened to his friend group and where are they and why they weren't in videos and pretty much the exact same thing is pretty much happening with Mr. Beast with Ava Tyson any mention of Ava Tyson in the comments at all just gets completely scrubbed from the comment section at all it's completely blacklisted and you can't say anything about them whatsoever and if you go into the video right now and if you sort it by new, you're going to see some comments talking about some stuff and kind of getting around, skirting around the censoring of the comment section and that they have to do it in such a way that, that they haven't already censored beforehand. But even then, there's plenty of evidence and videos and screenshots on Twitter that if you want to go out and look for it, you're going to see it, right? So on mobile, it's much easier to see it. If you go into the comment section on mobile and you see a comment that references anything revolving around Ava Tyson or anything revolving around the Mr. Beast allegations made by Dogpack 404 uh, you click on it and it just comes up as an error and the reason why it comes up as an error is because that comment except essentially got deleted and you can no longer see it so right now the video currently has as of the moment of me refreshing this 1.4 million likes and almost a million dislikes so the like to dislike ratio on his video in just four hours after 16 million views is almost 50 percent 
And that's really, really bad. And all this just makes Mr. Beast look absolutely fucking terrible because of the fact that this just comes off as him trying to hide information regarding the fact that his best friend, who was such a huge pivotal part of his channel, was outed as being a disgusting, deplorable, porn-addicted human being who potentially assaulted somebody. And also the fact that he's also trying to hide all of these alleged scams that he's been doing by not only hiding that information from his comic section so that way his younger audience doesn't see it so they can go and tell their parents about it uh but he's also sending cease and desist to people who have been making videos about this entire situation and everything that has to revolve around mr beast over the past like couple of weeks and it's bad it's really 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 bad uh and not as bad as dr disrespect coming back right it's not as bad as him coming back and making this weird fucking tweet that he decided to make where he he's playing chess and like people confronting him about his allegations are apparently playing checkers of course immediately the replies on that tweet started completely destroying him talking about how checkers is like popular with the youth and that it's like a child's game and of course he would be so interested in doing and playing a child's game because that means he can get into you know what anyways that's besides the point but it's just so strange to me how this all ended up happening of course this this is just a poor sequence of events that ended up happening revolving around mr beast this is just a poor timing on his part but it still makes him look absolutely terrible when he uploads this video without saying anything at all because that's the main thing about this if he had actually talked about the situation and confronted the allegations made against him and talked about the stuff that had been coming that has been coming forward about his best friend uh chris tyson and all the allegations about him faking and scamming giveaways then it wouldn't be that big of a problem right but it's the fact that he posts the video anyways and then he censors the comics the comment section that just makes him look absolutely terrible and i was completely dumbfounded when i saw this and i recommended because of course i'm not fucking subscribed to mr beast I, I don't subscribe to mr beast because i don't find him all that entertaining so yeah this was very surprising i wonder what's gonna happen in the next couple of days uh i wonder if mr beast is finally gonna end up responding to this because apparently he still has like a third party investigation trying to figure out what's been going on with all these allegations made about him and about his best friend uh chris tyson but whatever i uh, very strange de decision of course i feel like this isn't really going to affect him in the long run anyways because ultimately he's a content creator with over 300 million subscribers i think overall especially considering the fact that his audience is so young and probably a lot of them don't really go around on social media all that much besides youtube they're not really going to know a whole bunch about this situation and allegations made about him anyway not that they can probably even understand it to begin with not to disrespect children and say that i'm not smart enough and capable enough to be able to understand all this information being thrown towards them if they were to go out and looking for this information themselves but they are on the younger side they're probably not going to be able to understand why all this is so bad all they see is funny youtube guy who sells chocolate bars who can give me money for buying chocolate bars that's all they see that's all they care about and all they care about is just the the content that they find entertaining and yeah it's just it's, me it's messed up right i think mr beast just made a uh, just poor timing on his part like i said extremely poor timing but yeah just it's i thought it was very funny how he just didn't respond to this at all and then the video came out it's like what are you doing bro like all this does is make you look bad and then hiding and deleting comments makes you look worse right like you're like you're obviously trying to hide something especially with the cease and desist which i thought was insane but yeah that's pretty much it though that's what i really wanted to say about this whole new video that mr beast had uploaded onto his youtube channel i thought it was just very funny hilarious timing uh also by the way 100 days in a bunker where they're underground 100 percent real guys they're totally underground in a bunker somewhere in the middle of where are they north carolina i think it is whatever it, it doesn't really matter uh that's pretty much it for me though that's all i really had to say about the the new video there's not really much to say about the new video because i mean we already know why it's bad but whatever if you liked the video though be sure to leave a like if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss a new upload i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace Drop that